Today we are going to be talking about human evolution. The much anticipated book by Standing for Truth will be out soon, and I thought it would be fun to do an overview of the subject to get everyone interested. Today we have two kinds of people in the world. We have those with such good imaginations that they really believe banana plants and whales are related, and that man is just an ape. Yes, they literally believe cladistics is scientific proof of that. This is the sad state of affairs which have left us literally talking to walls. We might as well just be talking to our cat most of the time. So I thought today we would try a new approach. Rather than just show them evidence that is on our side and explain why the evidence best proves young earth creation rather than evolution, let's show them out of their own books that they were lied to. So let's begin, shall we? In the book, Early Man, by Life Magazine, one of the most popular March of Progress charts ever sold exists inside of it. More schools have this image hanging up than any other image regarding human evolution. But let's actually zoom in and read what the small print actually says. First we come to Pliopithecus. You will notice it says, long considered to be an ancestral gibbons, the Pliopithecids are now known to be far removed from gibbons or indeed any other living primates. So they admit that this doesn't even belong in the very chart. And it's the first step of this process, and it says underneath it that it's not true. Now, on to the next one, which is another supposed intermediary, which to them would now be the first step of man, which is proconsul. Well, they consider it a very early ape, an ancestor to the chimpanzee and perhaps the gorilla. So we have another pure ape which they still cannot identify as to what species it even is. But yet, there it is, standing up, representing human-like bipedalism. That is strike two, but let's move on. Next we have Dryopithecus. We read that after investigation of the skull, rather than evolving earlier than the great apes was as previously thought, it was actually just a great ape itself a knowingly admitted lie right there in front of your eyes. I give this strike three on proving any human evolutionary tree whatsoever, and we've only looked at three. So literally, their entire first links of the chain are admitted to not be part of the chain in the small print underneath. That would be strike three. Next we have Oreopithecus, and this is hilarious because they start off by literally saying this is a side branch of the human family tree, meaning, yet again, it is not part of the March of Progress chart that it's on. And they are showing you it is part of the human lineage. But let's keep reading. Oh, look at that. It was clearly an aberrant ape. Shocker, I know. You will also notice that it is standing upright and walking when they know it's a lie. That would be strike four. Next we have Ramapithecus. This was thought to be a distinct genus that was the first direct ancestor of modern humans before it became regarded as that of the orangutan ancestor. Again, portrayed standing erect and walking. So strike five, another fraud on the chart shown in the March of Progress that doesn't belong there. Strike five. Next, a famous one, Australopithecus africanus. It tells us they possessed the brain size of apes, had ape-like skulls, and was similar to body size and shape to apes. So if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, shaped like a duck, the size of a duck, then surely it's a duck, right? Yet, there it is an admitted ape species with the characteristics of an ape in the human family tree portrayed walking just like humans. They don't even try to say anything about it being transitional or having any features of transitional because it's clearly an ape. But again, do you notice anything in the image? Is that really the truth that they're trying to sell you? No, it's not and not even close. 
It was a primate, nothing more. No transitional. Strike six. Now we have Robustus. It states below in the fine print. He represents an evolutionary dead end in man's history. So what's it doing on the chart? He's an admitted dead end on the very chart itself, meaning not part of the human evolutionary march of progress chart that they're showing you. And yet there it is anyway. They know that nobody reads this fine print. But here is something most people don't know. They changed its name to Paranthropus robustus, and that's how it's known today. Do you know why? Because para means beside, and anthropus means man. So it means beside man, meaning not leading to modern day man. Not only was it a different lineage, but an entirely different evolutionary branch than us. Yet there it is on the flow chart, leading from primitive primate ape ancestor to modern day man. Another lie. Strike seven. So now, let's look how far in we are. Notice that? Halfway through, and every single one is an outright ape. Nothing but a primate. Nothing but pure lies and frauds admitted in the very fine print below each and every one. And if that's not bad enough, if we open this poster and go to the far left, there's something written. And at the very bottom, we read, Although proto-apes and apes walked on all fours, all are shown here standing for the purpose of comparison. Sure it is, everyone. They want you to see them as human-like as possible because they know that pictures are worth a thousand words and they know nobody's going to read that small print. And it's going to look and appear as though apes became humans slowly over time when it's nothing but pure lies. But now we get into humans with no transitions whatsoever.